Okay, so we swapped out the sw safety bar squat for these leg presses. And I did this just because I'm going to do RDLs right after this exercise right here. And I don't want, I don't want to do a barbell squat and a, a barbell RDL the same day. So I'd rather do a machine exercise, then I'll do the barbell exercise, the freeway exercise, because both the barbell squats and the straight, li straight leg, legged deadlifts involves some low back, no matter how much you want to leave them out of it. If once you get tired, your low back starts to get fatigued. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather pick one or the other. And today I'm going to pick doing barbell, I mean, barbell stiff legged deadlifts instead of safety bar squats. All right, guys, let's get into this lift. And I'm going to try to hit 12 around there. This is the first time I use this kind of leg press. So. Let's see. One more, come on. So, twelve reps this is exactly what I thought I was going to do. Um, if I really pushed it, I could have got like 14 reps. Um, yeah, guys. Let's move on to the next set. It's kind of, yeah, it's getting in the quads. I feel it in the quads. Set of 12 in here. This, the angle for this exercise is going to be horrible. Cause it's just a lot of machines in the way, but you get the point. Full range of motion on everything, unless it's heavy as fuck and kind of have to use a partial range to get it up. Whatever it takes, right? I'm team full range of motion, but I'm also team whatever it takes because sometimes whatever it takes to get the rep, right? Full range of motion until it gets extremely hard, then a partial rep counts. All right, let's go. Oh, shit. This shit's heavy. I'll be pushed off. That's good. So somebody commented on my YouTube the other day. I was doing like a landmine roll. And he's like, why are you using Versa grips? It's not even that heavy. I'm like, mother, I don't want to curse because I don't want to get flagged. But it's like, bro, what's heavy to me might not be heavy to you. You're probably stronger than me. And that's okay. So I use the Versa grips so my grip wouldn't be the limiting factor, right? And it'll be my back that's tired instead of my grip. 
and I was doing a back exercise. So the goal was for my back. So for me to feel it in my back, it's still in my hands, right? So that's your answer, whoever you are. <laughs> All right, let's move on to some barbell RGLs. I've got 12 here again. This is actually a great machine. If you have it in your gym, please give it a try. Because I didn't feel none of it in my knees. I just feel it in my quads. I feel some glutes too, but I feel it majority in my quads, which is good. All right, let's go. So stiff-legged deadlifts. In my last program, I was doing um, line leg curls, but I want to use the bar now just because I want to use the bar. All right, let's go. Make sure these versa grips is nice and tight. Okay, let's go. Let's take it on the ride. today. I could have got nine to ten, but we're not going to push it. We're not going to push it. Easy, easy, please. I'm not going to gain ten pounds of muscle in a day. So I'm going to leave some reps in the tank. Why get injured? Especially when your mind is clocked out. That's when you really get injured. When you're doing some sets and you like, let me push it, whatever it takes to get 10, but your mind is in another place, that's when injuries happen. Your mind and your body gotta be locked in for you to have a good set, good reps. Also, I'm not competing in anything, guys. I'm just competing for longevity. So, and when I say longevity, I mean like as long as I can live. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't involve like me getting hit by a bus or any type of accident. Just as long as I can. If 50 is the longest I could live, and I was technically only supposed to live to 49, then I won in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm 30 now. Let's see how far I make. Maybe. Maybe I'll make it to 100 like my grandma. And I'll beg my lady for five more kids. Have like five grandchildren and 15 great great grandchildren. Maybe I'll get to see that. Alright guys, let's move on to some uh leg extensions. Meet me there. This this is probably my favorite exercise for quads because it directly targets the quad. Like you don't get no low back involvement, no hips hurting. This just targets your quads. Yes, barbell squats is superior when you talk about strength, but to target the quads, I feel like this is it. All right, let's go. 